Hey guys, how do I help here? Welcome back to the channel. Now, Apple continues to support older devices with a new software update, and today they released a new software update, iOS 15.7.5. For older iPhones and iPads that do not support iOS 16, this new software update is available. I wanted to get on here quickly and explain why it is important for you to update these older devices if you continue to use these devices on a daily basis. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest, iOS news and Apple software updates of course and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now if we take a look here at Apple's developer portal we can go here and see that the latest iOS 15.7.5 has been released for the iPhone and iPad OS 15.7.5 has been released for the iPad now Apple has also updated older Macs as well with Mac OS Big Sur 11.7.6 and Mac OS Monterey 12.6.5 now why would Apple release another software update for these older devices well I'm happy to see this by the way because because Apple continues to patch two serious issues within the operating system on the Mac, on the iPhone, and on iPads. And Apple did not forget about iOS 15 devices, so I'm happy to report that this software update basically patches the same two issues that we saw patched with iOS 16.4.1. Now that video will be linked in the description, but basically what we're getting here is the same security patches for these devices. So the iPhone 6S, of course, the iPhone 7, all models, iPhone SE first generation, iPad Air second generation, iPad iPad mini fourth generation and iPod touch as you can see right there seventh generation there's two things that are being patched here and it is very very important for you to update your iPhone and or iPad if you're running iOS 15 to the latest 15.7.5 to protect your device of course your data and information of course Apple will continue to release minor software updates but big in terms of security patches for older devices and I don't think any other company does this right so I'm happy to see that Apple continues to support these devices devices even for older Macs older iPads and older iPhones so go ahead and update right now as of today it is available I just wanted to update you guys on this one I thought it was important and I'll see you guys on the next one peace